This train has to be going at, at least 70 miles an hour. It's going straight to Grand Central Terminal. The MTA's decision to expand service at Grand Central Terminal has to be one of the best decisions uh, the MTA ever made. This is a direct, direct train from Jamaica uh, to Grand Central. No stops in between. The ultimate express train.
is really phenomenal. Now, now, now the MTA uh, could operate trains going directly from Jamaica to Manhattan, with no stops in between. No more, no more stopping at at Woodside. Squeeze Boulevard. Nice clear day. Fair weather, some high clouds, no rain. Put on ear goggles because of the staticky noise coming from the conductor's uh, uh, communication device. Okay, there's a slow down here. Okay, get it. The, the phone can probably pick up the static in communications. I don't want to move. That noise is... Yeah. tunnel. The front part. There's a new tunnel that was built.
this something? New tunnel, direct service from Jamaica uh, to Grand Central Terminal. Took the MTA several years to build this. Eventually, it's going to be all soot. Come with cook, dirty, filthy. Right now, it's pristine. Almost. No. Mostly everything that you see in New York is old, especially when it comes to infrastructure. This is something that's actually new. I know right now you think, well, what am I, what am I looking at here? Well, what you're looking at is the uh, interior wall of the tunnel that was built to connect Jamaica uh, with Grand Central Terminal, and thereby relieve. Penn Station of a massive amount of traffic. All the trains were going from from the, oh, Long Island to, to one station in Manhattan, Jeff, Penn Station. Penn Station couldn't handle it anymore. Building the tunnel to divert traffic, train traffic from Jamaica to the east side of Manhattan was a necessity. It had to be done. There was no getting around it. It was either that or Penn Station would, would, would have literally fallen apart. This is a yellow, like a yellow railing. It's probably a walkway. Somebody told me that the MTA could, 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 could complete this kind of project. I would have said, I would have been highly skeptical. Because right now in the United States, we don't complete tremendous projects anymore. We don't do it anymore. Other countries do, you know. In the United States was known to be the na as the nation that took on tremendous projects and completed them and, and completed them in a timely manner and and cost effective manner and uh, we don't do it anymore it doesn't mean we don't engage uh, in project building you know engaging in projects but they're now very expensive very timely very untimely uh, they're not they're not they're not done quickly anymore than stuff that other countries are doing, except for the possible exception of the redevelopment of the World Trade Center, uh, building the Freedom Tower, and 
the adjacent buildings. That, that was a tremendous project, which is still ongoing. Uh, the, the replacement of the uh, Cavendish Bridge might constitute a impressive major project that was, that was conceived, planned, built, and now here. functional. Now approach Grand Central Terminal, final stop. Take the sound, look around, gather all these hard blooms, check the overhead racks. You related any transfer on the white police placement of property sensitive along the station platform. Grand Central Terminal. As always, be mindful of the gap between the train station platform while exiting if you're traveling any small children. Please take a bite out of their seat. Once again, this is Grand Central. Yeah, there is a walk. Okay, we're arriving in track 304. Here we are, Grand Central Terminal, track 304. See? Got here. Took around 17 minutes in Jamaica, Grand Central Terminal. station. Look at that. Shiny floor, shiny trains, shiny everything. Wow. Okay. Six forty-six p.m. 